been more than a year now since medical marijuana became available to patients in Pennsylvania, and now officials say they want the state to become a leader in medical marijuana research. Eyewitness News State Capitol reporter Matt Heckel joins us live tonight from Harrisburg with more. Matt? Hey, Nick. Yeah, so uh, a medical marijuana summit was held here today. As part of that, two conditions were added to the list of those approved under the medical marijuana program. On Thursday, Pennsylvania Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine announced anxiety disorders and Tourette's syndrome are being approved as serious medical conditions in the state's medical marijuana program. I do not take this decision lightly. The approval came with recommendations for doctors, pharmacists, and patients. She says medical marijuana should not be first line treatment for anxiety disorders and should be used alongside counseling and therapy. Patients with anxiety disorders should continue to pursue counseling and therapy to manage their condition. She also says medical marijuana with low THC and high CBD levels would work best for treating anxiety disorders. A key component to approving conditions is to stimulate research on medical marijuana. On Thursday, researchers from eight universities and three clinical registrants were on hand for a research summit on medical marijuana. Despite the growing interest in medical use of cannabis, data with strong clinical evidence remain limited. Moving forward, those experts will be conducting research in hopes of answering questions like correct dosing, safety, and how effective marijuana is in treating each condition. I believe this puts us, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, at the forefront of, of supporting research into the potential benefits of medical marijuana. Yeah, and anxiety disorders and Tourette syndrome will be approved conditions effective July 20th. Live at the state capitol in Harrisburg, Matt Heckel, Eyewitness News. All right, Matt Heckel, live tonight. Thanks for the update.